Well, hello, 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 and gobble, gobble, gobble. It is time for another episode of Make Art with Mrs. M. I'd like to say happy Thanksgiving, and let's let the fun begin. I'm going to move these turkeys out of the way and show you how I got them. I absolutely love making patterns. And so this turkey has a pattern on its tail and I'm going to show you how I did that. All right, the very first thing that I did was near the bottom of the page, I'm going to put a circle right about here for the body. Nice and round. We like fat turkeys. Very good, and then I'm going to add a long skinny neck with a curved line here and a curved line there. Turkey's necks are long and skinny. Then I'm going to come up and around to complete the head by going from this side around to the next. Next up, add the beak. I start with a small line in the middle of the head and I add two leaning lines or letter V underneath for the beak. If I'm going too fast, Go ahead and push pause so you can catch up and keep going with me. I'm going to make this flappy piece come up, around, down below, and up to connect. That part is called a snood. I just learned that this year. I never knew it was called a snood. I'm going to add two eyes, one on the right and one on the left. There. Maybe some eyebrows, just for extra touch. So there's my turkey's face. I'm going to give him some roughly feathers around his neck with the line that bumps around three or four times like that. And I started right there on that side of the line for the neck and went over to the other side. Let's add some wings with a curved line on the right and a curved line on the left. Once again, I'm going to add a bumpy line underneath here. One, two, three bumps and connect for the wing and do the same thing on the left. One, two, three bumps like that. Now the feet, I'll do two little lines here and two little lines there. Looks like 11, 11. <laughs> And then I'll add a curved line on the side going sideways for both of them. And then connect them with a line that looks like the letter U in between. For the turkey's feet. All right, here comes my favorite part, the fan of feathers. I'll start with a line that comes straight out to the right and straight out to the left, but I'm not gonna take that line all the way to the end of the paper because I need room for the finishing touches. I'm going to then add a rainbow line that comes up and over the head and connects the left to the right. So let's start on the left, come up and over the head and connect on the right. Ding! Fantastic fan, woo! All right, next I'm going to add a bumpy line that bumps around. I'm trying to make each bump about the same size for the feathers. I want it to look uniform. I want it, them all to look just about the same. There we go. Then where the line bumped down and touched the rainbow line, I'm going to make a line come in and touch the side of the turkey. Bring a straight line in to touch the side of the turkey. This line is just gonna come and stop right by the top of the head. And I'm turning my paper as I go around just so I can see what I'm doing good. There, not bad, right? Well, that's about all there is to it. When I colored this guy, I did add some more of those bumpy lines in there before I colored it yellow. 
because I didn't want to color the whole body of the turkey brown. I want to add more color. I added a pattern with orange yellow, orange yellow with the fan of feathers going around. Every orange feather has brown on top. Every yellow feather has red on top. I did the same thing here with this one, except I use markers. But either way, this turkey has got to say Happy Thanksgiving. So I hope this was fun for you and that you make a couple of these to decorate around your home for Thanksgiving. Enjoy, come back and see me again. And remember what I always say, art makes you smart. Yes, it does. See you next time.